Hey, what's going on? So it is that time of the year when I need to clean out the ice barrel and change the water. I haven't changed the water since probably October, uh, maybe, maybe November. Uh, and weather's nice and it is time to actually change the water inside. What I do on a regular basis though, to kind of give you an idea of how I upkeep my ice barrel and keep the water clean, is I'm gonna show you what I've got down here so you can see the filtration system and exactly what I'm doing to keep the water clean for that long because yeah, the water was clean probably until about three weeks ago. And about three weeks ago, it started uh, just getting dirty really fast. And when I say getting dirty, like there's floaties in the water, right? So. Uh, my cold plunge gets used probably six times a week. Uh, whether I, I use it about four or five times. My son uses it a couple times between, uh, soccer games and whatnot. And then my wife uses it. So actually it's probably getting closer to 10. Anyway, with that amount of use, it's time to change the water. So let's take a look at what's going on. All right. So down here, you can see I've got my hose connected right here. And I've completely drained all the water that just comes out freely. I'm gonna have to tip it up to get the rest of the water out. Over here, I've got the first filtration system and that consists of this filter that you see here. And this filter I change or clean, I, I don't change it, I clean it. This kind of catches big stuff, hair, things that go in on people's feet, etc. I change this filter, I said change again. I clean this filter about every two weeks, okay? And it's super simple. Up here, I have my GE water filter, and this one I change once a month, or as needed. Sometimes I can go 45 days on it, so somewhere between 30 and 45 days is when I typically change out that water filter. And as you can see, there's some floaties in there that have made it all the way past the first filtration system and made it there and they're stuck in there, but it's time to switch that out as well today. So now that everything is uh, cleaned out, not cleaned out, drained, now that everything is drained, it's time to actually dive into the barrel and get it cleaned out. So what I'm doing back here is just disconnecting all my hoses from the ice barrel. I'm gonna tip it so I can empty the rest of the water out of it. And then I have got a long handle brush that I bought specifically to scrub out the inside. I will use a gentle soap inside, clean it out, rinse it out, and then we'll begin the refill process. So when it comes to cleaning my ice barrel, I take it pretty serious, I guess. Here's my new filter that I'll put in my GE water filter system, which is a house water filter system that I just use to keep the water clean. And I have a series of different brushes that I use. I got a long, long handled brush, short handled brush, and another brush. And these are all bought specifically for my ice barrel. They only get used in my ice barrel, nowhere else. And then of course, I've got my, I don't know what this is, I'm gonna call it the key. This is my key to my GE water filter to get that filter removed and to unscrew the location where the filter goes. I don't know what that thing's called, do you? Anyway. We're empty now. I had it up here, tilted it forward on the stool. Pretty easy to empty from here. Uh, the newest version is probably even easier to empty than this one, but I don't know. I've never used it. So, Ice Sparrow, reach out to me. Let's start a sponsorship. Let's get this going. Anyway, that kind of shows you my whole setup here, all the hosing, everything. And at this point, we'll just get this thing clean and get it put back together and get it filled back up.